And this time during the month of death, we have a track yet again by My Chemical Romance. This song is off of Three Cheers for City Revenge, and it's called Helena. Let's start off with death dates. This song was released on May 23rd, 2005, on the format's CD single for the hipsters like... Wait. No. No. I'm not doing that joke again. In fact, I'm sick of hearing that joke. No, you cannot make me put in that joke that I do not like. I am poor. Hipsters, I eat them for fun. <laughs> Stupid joke. Anyway, it was released on 7-inch vinyl, DVD, just in case you would rather watch a song than listen to it, and then digital download, so that you can spend money and then later lose it due to a virus or you forgot your iTunes password to your account because it wants a security question. It was four years ago. How was I supposed to remember the answer? I put a $15 gift card on my account. <clears throat> Radio Airplays. I personally have never heard this song on the radio, but I have seen that I have seen it in the KR KROQ in Los Angeles, California, uh, playlist song of like recently played. So they have played that song before. Copy sold. Helena was certified gold in the U.S. That's shiny enough for me. Charting positions. Unlike most of the songs that I've been doing for this month, this song got a lot of radio airplays and copy sold, so it hit high in the charts. 33 in the Hot 100. You can look at the screen yourself to see where else it charted high. But it did pretty good. Background. The reason that the song was made was because uh, Mikey and Jaraway's grandmother died. So the rest of the album is dedicated to her. Track listings. UK CD and 7-inch vinyl. Helena and I'm Not Okay, I Promise. Live. UK DVD. Helena, live video, and I'm Not Okay, video. Australian CD. Helena... I'm not okay, and you know what they do to guys like us in prison. Last two tracks are live from AL, ALO Sessions. And iTunes single, Helena, live from the Starland Ballroom in Sayerville, New Jersey. Other tracks, I'm not okay live. A track that I will get to one day. However, I might as well talk about this live version. I don't like it. It sounds watered down. Not in a good raw type either. Gerard doesn't put the passion and emotion like he did in the album. I also don't like that there isn't a piano used for the live version. That kind of bothers me because it was the only song to use a piano up until the race of the Black Parade. I do like the audience singing for a little bit, but that's it. Anyway, this song is about a girl that is trying to trick a guy into thinking that she likes him, but the guy knows the girl's tricks. Honestly, it really is hard to describe what this track is about. You have to determine for yourself. Anyway, lyrics to back this up. What will it take to show you that it's not the life that it seems? I've told you time and time again, you sing the words, but you don't know what it means to be a joke and look. Another line without a hook, I held you close as we both shook. For the last time, take a good hard look. So now the guy cuts all the ties with these girls. And, uh, you know what they do, guys like us in prison life. Uh, this track is awesome in the album, but not so much for this live version. I just don't like how watered down it is. I'm not a fan of ALL sessions in the first place. It's not that best, but I don't like it. This track is about a guy being in prison. He got arrested for being involved in a gunfight at a restaurant. And now he is writing about how he's going to survive prison. Lyrics to prove this point. In the middle of a gunfight in the center of a restaurant, they say, come with your arms raised high. Well, they're never going to get me, like a bullet through a flock of doves. To wage this war against your faith in me, your life will never be the same. On your mother's eyes, say a prayer, say a prayer. Now, for the part of him being in prison, they all, they all cheat at cards and the checkers are lost, my cellmate's a killer, they may do push-ups and drag, but nobody cares if you're losing yourself, am I losing myself? Will I miss my mom, will they give me the chair or lethal injection or swing from a rope if you dare? Ah, uh, nobody knows all the trouble I've seen. How it's played. I'm not okay, it is played typically. The only part of the song I don't care is towards the part where there should be a piano. You know what they do to guys like us in prison is a lot is a lot less harder and more bland and boring. Well, those are for the AL sessions. I'm not talking about the album version, but moving on. Music video. I'm not going to talk about the music video for I'm Not Okay since I'll do its own review. The music video for Helena is everybody at a church for a girl's funeral. 
The girl then gets up and starts dancing while, she, while the band is still playing. She falls back into her casket, and then you see the band carry her casket out into the car. So, what is this check about? This check is about the death of a loved one that you will one day meet again in the afterlife. This is so straightforward, but this is one of the deepest songs you'll ever listen to. Lyrics to back this up. Came a time when every star fall brought you to tears again. We are the very hurt you sold. And what's the worst you take from every heart you break? And like the blade you stained, will I been holding on tonight? Can you hear me? Are you near me? Can we pretend to leave and then we'll meet again when both of our cars collide? Is this track remembered? Without a doubt. Every MCR fan knows this track. This sparked the band's career. After all, this track hit number 33 on the Hot 100. The Black Parade is what amplified the spark. But this is where they started to become popular. Because I brought you my bullets and you brought me your love, eh, that wasn't popular at all. It did okay in the UK, I guess. Anyway, the community. Let's see what the community thinks of this track. Well, I tried researching, but I can't find. I couldn't find a good community site for this track, so whatever. But I imagine the community likes it. So how the song is played? It's played with an organ. Here, listen. It's played in a heavy rock form, but you can really feel the energy of depression for the loved one. Singing so hard that you just want them to come back to life. Times Played Live This track was played live 504 times and made it their second most played track. I'm Not Okay was played live 509 times and made it their most played track. And you know what they do to guys like us in prison was played 341 times and made it their seventh most played track. So all these songs got a lot of uh, times being played live. Artwork. Ed, uh, sure. Both of them work. Personnel. Frank Lear, rhythm guitar, backing vocals. Matt Piesler, drums. Uh, Ray Toro, lead guitar, backing vocals. Drawway, lead vocals. And then Mikey Way, bass guitar. Features of this track. For Helena. Hard rock roots, a subtle use of vocal harmony, minor key tonality, and heavy electric rhythm guitars. For I'm Not Okay. And both of these next two songs are on Life on the Mercy. Pop rock qualities, punk influences, a subtle use of vocal harmony, major key tonality, heavy electric rhythm guitars, and aggressive male vocalists. You know what they do to blah 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 blah. Also life on the blah blah blah. Hard rock roots, punk influences, a subtle use of vocal harmony, minor key tonality, electric rhythm guitars, and aggressive male vocalists, and hard swinging rhythm. Other notes. This is, uh, this is found in the booklet of May Death Never Stop You. I still love the way the song fires off as the opening of three cheers. To me, Helena has all the components that made for a great MCR song. Honesty, vulnerability, and connect force a direct result of the past Mikey's and my grandmother, Lena Lee Rush. The song would go on to be one of our signatures and always the and always the show closer. Very fast, very angry. Draw away. This track was the uh, band's sing. Ah. This track was the band's first single to hit the Hot 100, and one of the few. This is one of two tracks to make it within the top 40. Although their next single was like at 41, I think. I can't remember what song it was. I think it was Desolation Row, but I'm not sure. But here, there's a picture of it up on screen so you can see. Anyway, during the music video, one of the band members is shorter. So it was pretty much up to the other three to carry the basket. But hey, at least he was lucky because he didn't have to do all that weight on him, so he didn't have to worry about being crushed. But those other guys, nah, forget them. So, in the end, Helena is certainly one of My Chemical Romance's most famous tracks. The depressing nature to this track of how much it hurts when somebody you love dies. This is such a great track in dealing with emotions. It goes from everything, from the energy and shivers you get on your back, to the sadness that this was the last song to ever be played by them live. Or maybe the fact that there's an organ in the song that I can't hear. The other tracks I don't care for so much, but they don't count since they're not the album version. I give the artwork 4 out of 6 and the song a 10 out of 10. With this being said, more videos on the way. Hope you guys have a good night.